And I'm, 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 at, at what point then do you, because you use cannabis oil now, don't you? Or yeah. did you have done? I have done. But uh, yeah, um, I did do it at the beginning, so the CBD oil, which is... Which yeah, is yeah. Good. Yeah, I've used that CBD oil. Yeah, it's good because that what that does is that stops the L1 gene getting to the tumour. So that's kind of, um, uh, stops it spreading, metastasizing. Mm, so that's yeah, kind yeah. of really beneficial. But also CBD is used by athletes and everything. Yeah, well, that's, I got a guy, um, he, a, mess, a friend of a friend really from Australia. And he, um, at first he, he said, do you want to try the CBD oil? And I thought it was illegal and stuff. Yeah. Then I, I, I looked at it a bit because I've heard Joe Rogan talk about it a yeah, lot. Yeah. And he's like, oh no, mate, it's cool. It's... It's got the bit that gets your stones out of it. Yeah. What's that called? The T T H C T H C yeah. Can I put it? And um, he said that it's, he said that it just makes you um <clears throat> he said it's suff- it stops you from suffering from anxiety and stuff and I don't suffer anyway, but I thought I'll see I'll see what it's like and he sent me this thing and you just put it underneath your tongue. Yeah. The sublingual root that's that yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um but I don't know whether it was a bit of a placebo or not, because I was thinking this'll make me feel like Happy. <laughs> Not even happy, but yeah, I was thinking I won't, I'll be less stressed about stuff. And to be honest, I was a little bit, but I don't know whether it was yeah. or not. I don't know. Yeah. In the in in the beginning stages, so um, I took cannabis oil at the beginning, um, and it's the THC. So what that does is, so I go scientific on you. Yeah. yeah. Bear in mind, I yeah, used yeah. to be in charge of all sorts of drugs. <laughs> in fact, I know all about this. Is um, so basically what happens is your body has cells, they've got this protective layer of gene around them, they float around, all good. Cancer cells don't have that, that gene around it, so your body doesn't recognise it as a, an imposter, and that latches onto wherever, travels through your lymphatic system. Um, the body has an endocannabinoid system in it, and when you take it, it's supposed to improve like over 121 functions within the body. Um, when it finds, so it latches onto a cell, and it improves it. When it hits a cancer cell, it doesn't have this protective gene, so it latches onto it, uh, and and what it does is, because it hasn't got that G, it p- pumps a chemical called ceramide into the actual nucleus of the mitochondria of the cell. And what that does, that causes aspostosis, if I said that right, that's cell serial, it causes the, the cell to, to, to die. So that's kind of the basis around it. And then if you take the CBD with it, it's like a one-two punch. Ah, so right. that's kind of the basis, but there's no <clears> medical <throat> ger- there's no medical studies in it. You'll get told not to do it and all that. So I did it at the beginning, uh, loaded up on it, but it's just, you just, I, you are. You start off with a pinprick. I was out of it completely. I couldn't walk. I couldn't speak. So I spent about th- three months doing that because I was literally just at home. No one saw me. And my mum took me to Costco for something. And she, apparently she broke down when she got in. She thought I was like had Parkinson's and I, I couldn't hold a conversation with anyone. I'd lost. Literally didn't know what was going on. Um, and then once my results started getting better, I knocked it. Knocked it on the head, mm. on the head then. But. Uh, 